Hey everybody, welcome back to Into the Breach. Thank you guys for all of the uh, great feedback on the, the first run. A lot of things that I uh, that I learned about how to use those guys a little bit differently and picked up on some cool like tips and tricks. Uh, we did, however, get the opportunity to unlock additional uh, squads. So what I'm thinking is, and you guys seem to be pretty into this, is to try and do uh, a lot of these different squads in order. Now, um, I've done a run with the Rusting Hulks on Twitch, and I could play them again. They're, they're, they're probably, out of the three groups that I've tried so far, they're probably my favorite. Um, I did start a bit of a run on Twitch with, oh, we got an achievement. Well, boom, look at that. What is this? Unlock New Mexico? Okay, <laughs> fine. <laughs> awesome. Uh, cool. All right, cool, 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 cool. Uh, I think I'm gonna go Zenith Guard though. I started a playthrough on Twitch with these guys, but I'm gonna just I'm gonna go with with these dudes because I want to get better with them. We've got a couple of things we could try. Um, get over here. We got to kill an enemy by pulling it into yourself. Hit four enemies with a single laser. That's gonna be tough. And block damage with four with a shield four times in a single battle. Also gonna be tough. Now. The mechs that we have, we've got uh, this burst beam, which does damage when enemies are closer and it kind of degrades the further out that it gets. We've got the charge brute, does two damage, but we take damage. We go basically all the way across um, on a single tile. And then we've got attraction pulse. So we pull somebody towards us. If we pull somebody that's next to us, uh, that's how we would do the, uh, the kill. We'd have to kill an enemy with one health um, at this point, but we also have this uh, shield projector where we can shield tiles from damage, and that's how we would kind of try and get this shield mastery thing. The time traveler that we have is Steve Trevor, where we can move again after shooting. So, a couple of ways we could do this, right? Like, we could put him in any of these mechs and it would be decent. Probably better to put him on the burst... I don't know, probably better to put him in here. You can move in, use the laser, get out of position if we, you know, something like that. I think that's not bad. And that's a pretty strong starting uh, traveler. We could also go back to Ralph, we could go to Lily, where you get plus three move. Um, but I think we're gonna stay with this. I think we're gonna stay here with uh, Trevor. And he's got the mech reactor, so... We'll start him off in the laser mech, and let's get going. Now, I did learn something else. Um, in order to get to, uh, to unlock the fourth island, you have to beat the three islands. You can't just go here, you can't just go to the ice island and unlock this thing. So, I think, I think what we need to do here is we're going to start back at, at this, at this section. Um, go to Dewey Alms. And then we're going to work through all of these and try to unlock this with this um, group, I think. I think. The other thing we could do, instead of Fire and Forget right now, we could go to Allies Immune, which actually might give us some more flexibility. Because uh, we can't always get everybody into the right position. So I think we'll put our mech reactor that we're getting from being uh, level, I guess, one here or two, however you look at it, into uh, allies being immune from the burst beam. All right, let's go. Let's rock and roll. So we got the library. And we've got uh, Forgotten Hills. Now the nice thing about the library here, defensive shields are active. And we want to try and take less than three grid damage. So that's pretty easy bonus objective to get. Uh, it, it is only worth one of the stars. However, it could go nicely with shield mastery. Because at this point, if we let them hit the buildings that are already shielded, then that's pretty good. So maybe we try to get that on this mission. Take less than three grid and there's air support. So these are the ones. These guys are going to spawn. As long as we kind of protect this back line and hope to God that they run over and attack these, that would be great. Let's do it. All right. Uh, oh, this guy's armored. Is that right? Wait, is he giving armor? Shell Scion. Yep. Okay. So this guy's giving them armor. we got to get rid of him. But these guys are relatively weak. And there's no nets to speak of. Um, we need ramming potential. And then we can fly here, and we can pull, and we can shield tiles and things like that, so... Let's give her. Let's see if we can figure this out. So armored, the way that that works, it reduces incoming damage by one. Uh, it doesn't block, like, move damage, fire, all that kind of stuff. It's just physical. The way you can think about it is, like, physical-ish damage, attacks, kind of thing. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So, what we could do... 
is a couple of things. Number one, we could try and uh, and get this shield thing going if we wanted. We could kill this guy, but I think what I'm going to focus on is this attack, kill him. These guys lose their armor. I don't really want to give this guy the shield, though, is the only problem. And what I could do is I could ram him first so that... Actually, we could kill him. Because we'll kill him, we'll kill the Scion, and then we ram here. We're sitting here, pushes him back, and he... Well, he dies, so it doesn't matter. And then we shield... We, uh, yeah, we shield here. This square will be empty. His attack will get shielded, and then that's one of the four shields that we need to use in a single battle. I think that works. Now we gotta remember, we take that one damage from that, which isn't ideal, but it is what it is. Alright, let's go. Beautiful. Okay, so that's one. Progress one. Good, we're doing great. Okay. Okay, we're actually- okay. We've got- things are happening. Things are happening. So what I could do here, since this is blocked, I could come here and protect this. That will give us both, um... That will give us two additional blocks. But, then we've got things down here to deal with. Now, I could take this approach and get one damage in on this guy who's currently hitting this empty tile. Um, is that the best thing we could do here? I kind of think that it is. Like, so I shield bubble this. That gives us an additional two. We take the shot down here. He's weakened. And then what I would probably do is move... Uh, Coral or Charge Mech over. Oh yeah, and if you guys have names for these dudes, uh, let me know and I'll put them in. And then I'll use our Charge Attack just to get down here. We'll block another spawn. We're gonna be at one health, so that's gonna be a bit uh, complicated. But that means we're only gonna have like uh, four four Vec out here, which is still a lot. Um, but we're trying to kind of manipulate that achievement right now. So I think that's the plan. I think that's the plan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. And I guess that's about it. So that should be two. That's a miss. This should be three. Beautiful. I think we can do it. Oh, it's going to be tight, though. This is my worry. Yeah, see, and now they're hammering buildings. Okay. Okay, how do we figure this out now? Okay, so if this is going to get hit twice, we can block it once. So one thing we could do... We could do an attack like... Oh, we don't actually want to do that. Uh, hold on. It just says we need to block damage. I wonder if the damage that we would inflict ourselves that would be blocked would count. I bet you it would. But this guy, we can't kill anyway, so I don't really love doing that. Um... I might have to sacrifice a grid damage here. So other option is we do this. We kill him. Fine, it's overkill, but whatever. Uh, this shot gets blocked. We could come down here. Wait, what? how does his pull work again? So he pulls one tile towards you. So I could even come down here and block this, right? 
pull this guy one tile back, so he takes that. We take the one grid damage, 15% chance it blocks. It could happen. It could happen. This guy dies, we get the block damage here. We repair here, uh, so that we're blocking both of these spawns, and then we don't have to worry about them. And then next turn, we're gonna have, uh, three enemies to deal with, which I think we can maybe, probably, hopefully. This guy is going to be in a rough spot because he's going to be down to one health again. So I'm going to have to hope that maybe they target this bubble or something. Uh, so yeah, I think that's good. I think that's good. Oh, right, we were gonna swap these. So we do this, kill him, comes back here, he pulls him. Oh, right, and this only has two uses per battle. Something I gotta remember, is that I can't just be willy-nilly and shield everything, you know? Uh, and then this guy, we're gonna repair. And he's gonna block this spawn. Because I don't have a better attack with him. Yeah, I could just maybe move him and let this guy up so I have the two... So they have the two damage next time, or the two health. But then I got an extra enemy, so it's like, that's kind of a tough call. Okay, so that's blocked. That's dead. He's gonna take fire damage, but like, you know, whatever. Nothing I can do. We can always gain power, you know? Plus, we're going for this achievement here. That's pretty good, I think, to get if we can get that on the first map. First battle. There it is. Okay, that sucks, but... This is fine. This is... All of this is fine. All of this is fine. So we come up here, we kill him. And then I think we just move out of the way, honestly. <laughs> He dies next turn anyway. It, we could do the thing where we pull him into us, but then we die. Um, I can't attack because then we die, right? I think we just move. I mean... Yeah, we can't get that kill, but we still we still win the battle. Um, oh yeah, we, sorry, we get the kill because of the fire. I can't kill the guy straight up, but we got the uh, the shield one, which I actually thought would be the most difficult to get. So that's pretty good. Uh, glittering sea beam is going to be tough, and this one I think we can do, but we definitely need to upgrade that mech with some HP. We definitely need to upgrade that mech with some HP, which may be... You know... We could argue that we take this guy, instead of getting allies immune here, we take this and his mech reactor and put it in here so he gets the extra... Uh, in here so he gets the extra two health. It's another option. Defend the satellite launches. Oh, they're like all over it. Hmm. All right. Oh, this guy again. This is a tough call because um, if I put if I put our uh, laser mech over here and we come down like one, two, three is our max move, right? So they have to be on this line for us to be happy. But if we put them over here, he get blocked. So I think what I'm going to do is, um, it's the same thing here. I'm going to go like this, and then our pull guy. One, two, three. Oh, he's got four. One, two, three, four. Like, he could go, he can cover one, two, three. He can cover this whole area. One, two, three, four. These three tiles. But if they all come in and around here, then we got some problems. Um... 
But we can also shield stuff. Maybe it's better to just put him back here so he can shield from a distance. Pull if something's in the way or whatever. I don't know, but we'll see. Learning these guys is tough because we've been so used to one approach. Oh, and a time pod. Okay, I like that. This guy just didn't move. Oh man, that is that is so so tempting. Um, so okay, this is one option. We'd kill this guy because we do three right up front. This guy takes one. We could then... Hold on, what if I did this? Come down here, smash this guy. Because he'll take three in total because of the bump damage. Armored blocks... So push damage, blocking fire is unaffected. Right, yes, okay. So it doesn't, yeah, good. So it doesn't block that. So we could do this. Hold on. Hold on. I can do something like this for right now. Kill this guy in front. This guy takes one damage from the push. I could come over here for a block. I can't kill that guy from there, though. That's the only thing. So this, this slot will be open. I can come in here and kill this guy. Then I could come down here and I could shield this. I could shield that attack. Um, the challenge here is going to be damage output, right? Because this guy's so kind of useless for that. Um, but I honestly, I think that's our best plan for right now. We block this damage, we deal with the rest. Uh, if I come here and do this... We push him back, but he doesn't take the bump damage. So that's not really that great. So I think we do this. I could even... We could kill this guy straight up. Because... Okay, so I can do this, and then I can come down here and kill him. Because uh, this slot will be open. But, this guy will still be alive, and we're not going to block spawns, which means the next ones, he's still going to be an issue. But what this does let us do is the fact that these two will be in a row means we could uh, sh get the shields on them early. And then we could be a little bit more aggressive with them. This guy, we could shield and then take the, the bump attack. Right? And when, if we take that bump attack then uh, we won't take the damage, right? Or no, we do, because the shield doesn't block that. Or maybe, no, the shield would block that. It's the armor that doesn't. All right, here's what we're going to do. I think we just take this kill. I don't want to hurt that pod anyway. And then we shield these two dudes. I think that's all right. I pr Generally, I prefer to get rid of these Scions because, well, obvious reasons, but... Sometimes you can't make it happen. Okay. Okay. How do we do this one? We could theoretically come down here, secure that, kill him, do the bump damage this way, and then I could come down here and do the pull so he misses. But then we're going to have five enemies on the map. Five. And that's going to be real difficult to deal with. However, 
I don't have an option to block anything anyway. So, like, option number two would be we come down here, do this, our shield goes away, we come up here, we do this, but even that doesn't kill him. I could use the other shield to block that, or to save that thing. But the longer that we let that Scion live, the more difficult this is going to be. I really need to defend these, though. And maybe instead of, like, playing for kills here, we play to just save these things. <laughs> like, uh, it's tough. I think this guy has to go. I think he has to go. We can bump and we can pull and we mitigate that damage and we'll just have to deal with what happens next. You know? Oh, you, sh you know what? That was a waste. I'm gonna reset. Uh, I shouldn't have- I don't want to use my reset this early, but I should have killed this guy first. This way he takes more damage. That's too bad. Oh well. Okay, good. So that's one gone. Now our focus is a lot more narrow. Jeez. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Um. So we can get out of the way of this. That's fine. These guys both attack an empty square. We kill him. This guy, we can, uh... We can pull out of the way. That's fine. And then here, we could do this attack. He kills him. He does some damage over here. And we mitigate all of the attacks on stuff. Which works. Right? This is a good plan. Plus, he's on fire, so he's gonna take fire damage next time. And he'll be dead, actually. This guy's attack will miss. This guy will hit the mountain. And this guy will kill him. Man. Oh, people were saying that, uh, apparently, if you kill mountains, you can find, like, stuff in them sometimes. So, if you ever have, like, a turn we have nothing to do, that's a decent option. One more turn, guys. You can do it. I believe in you. Only have three back out there. Workable. Workable. And it's a beetle. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, oh that's going to be tough. I'm telling you right now, that's going to be very tough to deal with. If I come down here, which is my only logical place I can put him, and we take this attack, we do kill one. Okay. The problem is... <laughs> everything else. So I think we lose another power here. Man, this group is hard to use. This group is really difficult. We have the bubble here, but I can't get in front of anything. Oh, wait! Wait! Ah, uh, NPC actions are gonna go last! Ah! Okay. That's too bad, because he can kill that- he'll kill that Scarab with his, uh, you know, lift-off damage or whatever. But... the Scarab's gonna get that attack in. And we're- that's too power that we lose, guys. That does not make me feel comfortable. I take us down to three on the power grid. <sighs> Let me see what else I can figure out here. So 
See, we can take this attack. All right. Kills this guy. This guy has one health. We could do something like... Uh... Hmm. I wonder if there's a way I could manipulate using these shields. Like, okay, it's one option. Obviously, we block this. Okay. And then Coral here. We could do this. And we could sacrifice the mech, which I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure comes back after this mission, but we lose the pilot. But we're not heavily invested in this pilot anyways, yet. Right? I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Uh... So, like, there is a way to do it and save the power. Because this is so important, right? But the other thing I'm looking at is, like... Alright, let's come down here. Um... We come over here. Shield. And then... This guy comes over and, like, bumps to kill, or bump to kill. But I don't think that works. We need, it, Not if we want to save power, it doesn't work. And we can't, like, attack through buildings. It's not like buildings are immune. So I think that's our best play. We do this. We sacrifice this mech and this pilot. Hope, I think the mech comes back. I mean, I'm sure we can't do it with two. So I'm pretty sure the mech comes back, but the pilot's gone. But we're not heavily invested in Coral here. So it sucks, but it's not the end of the world. And then we have, uh... We would actually do this one, so that we can easily pull him out of the way. I think that's right. Oh no! No, I forgot. Oh my god, that is so <laughs> No! I forgot about that. It's going to go all the way to the end. Shit. And we used our reset. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, did we ever pooch that one? Well, that sucks, the big one right there, guys. That's a that's a big sucker. That sucks. <laughs> that's, so, that's so rough. Okay, well, man, that's part of learning it, I guess. Oh, that's a tough one. That's very difficult to, pill to swallow there. We don't have to sacrifice our pilot, though, now. Uh, pros and cons. Damn it. Okay, lesson learned. Some people could argue that that's better, because we can definitely gain power later. We can always gain power, but... the We would have foregone two missions of progress with our pilot. So, I mean... Ugh. I don't love it. Don't love it. Mech starts every mission with a shield and a reactor core. <laughs> okay. Well, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So now... Starting with a shield, I think we gotta swap Coral anyways. On this guy? Gotta be. Got to be. Now, I also think we install the, me the core here and we upgrade the health. We don't go to one damage each, because, yeah, we could deal three damage, but we take two of three health. Mm, terrible plan. We could install it here to give more um, health, but this is like a very defensive, defensive mech. And we're going to hit a, ne a next level here with Burst Beam. So I think I'm going to go here. Starting shield's beautiful. And, uh, yeah. Lesson learned. We're gonna definitely go to Renovation Complex next. We gotta save this, um... 
Okay, we have to save artillery support, but it's nice because we basically have an extra unit. And we got to protect the coal plant. So, all of that is decent. I think. Yeah, that's going to be what happens. Alright guys, wish me luck. We'll see you in the next one. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a learning curve for these guys, but that's kind of fun. If you have names that you'd like for these, let me know, and I'll get those in as soon as I can, okay? Have a great one, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.